Dr. Dribble's Diabolical Disease Diary by Don Conlon. There's nothing so pleasing as the act of diseasing an innocent child or two. To see them break out with claws or a snout will always feel wonderfully new. On Monday I'll lurk at the school where I work and strike down a boy with the mumps. There'll be cries of boo-hoo and snot like thick glue before he erupts with the lumps. Tuesday is good, as I'll stir up some blood and cause an infection of gout. Kids will limp home with a creak in each bone, and I'll smile whenever they shout. For Wednesday, I'll lead with a virulent bee dropped into their afternoon snack. This will cause warts and unpleasant thoughts, which can only be cured on the rank. On Thursday, the girl with a golden kiss curl will get all the bad things I play. I'll be sure to leave her with dread scarlet fever and skin which is as rough as the sand. Friday is my day and make them all cry day, a day which really just rocks. I'll have them itching and scratching and snitching and snatching and bursting with red chicken pox. Then comes the weekend. It's time for a break and to indulge in a pastime or two. I shall walk in the park, for it is such a lark, to strike someone down with a plume. On Saturday it's glorious to make some kids furious with an unusual case of the measles. As you lie in the grass, you may watch them all pass, like a pack of the most horrid weasels. Come Sunday I'll rest in a tie and string vest and dream up new deadly diseases. I'll brew up some strains of excruciating pains, simply because it just pleases. It'll be quite the week of sickening the meek and laying them low in their beds. But why do I do what I do towards you? Is it something to do with my meds? Am I mad? Am I cruel? Am I some kind of sick fool? Such questions are normal to pose. I like company, you see, when my large surgery is so full to the brim, it won't close.